Now I want to talk about um, enterprise information. Yes, plugging FME server into your enterprise to uh, add spatial capabilities to your enterprise. Absolutely. So location is becoming more and more important, Absolutely. which is great for us, of course. Yeah. Yeah. And we have this new capability called uh, Java Messaging Service, very popular with Oracle, IBM, SAP, all of the big vendors have yeah. the ability to, yeah. to send messages around with JMS. Yeah. Uh, these are the three that we've, we've tested with. Yeah, and to be clear, FME Server can both receive JMS messages as well as send them. So you could plug it right in the middle of a, of a J2EE data stream and FME Server could be right in the middle there. Absolutely, absolutely. Now is this notifications or is this your message stream? This is still notifications. It is, yeah. Eh? Okay. Yeah. But what you're alluding to something I you're am. There. I am. I'm alluding. Let's show. <laughs> let's, he's alluding. Let's show a, a demo of, of of using JMS, and I am going to I'm going to close down this app, and bear with me while I set this up. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to send some information into into our JMS that's running. Okay. What JMS do we have running, you might ask? It's Apache Active MQ. Okay. One of the easier ones to start mm -hmm. uh, or to work with. Yeah. And you go into bin. I just have to actually open up a command prompt and cd to that directory. Start it. Next time I'll start it up ahead of time. Apache. No, it's active. Pardon me. Active MQ. So it's started up now. That JMS, that Apache Active MQ JMS, it is ready to receive messages. So how do we configure FME Server to do that? Not too tricky at all. We come into localhost. We're going to go to notifications, and we are going to actually we're going to send. No, we're going to we're going to have JMS send messages to us. I right. Think. That's what we'll do. So we're going to create something that's going to publish to a topic. That's right. So the first thing we do is we create that topic. We'll call it JMS. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just call it JMS. That sounds good to me. Yeah. And then now we're going to create a publication. So this is the thing that takes the information right. from something yeah. and brings it to FME Server. That's right. So, yeah, yeah. And there's, look at that, there's a JMS one. So right now, now, yeah. And provider type or context. Active MQ. Yeah. But we don't just support those two. Right. Basically, JMS is uh, configurable. You can use whatever you want. Right. Right. I put active MQ in here, and then the next thing we want to do is actually put in the TCP IP port, and that would be AK2013 6161. Okay, oh, I got 61616. That's, That's right. Yeah. Okay. A connection factory. So this is all kind of if you've used JMS, you'll understand how to do this. I barely understand it, but uh, I know enough to hook it up. Right. And what we're doing, just to be clear is we're saying, hey, connect to this JMS. Yep. And anywhere, anytime there's a message on, and this is where I almost forgot this part, dynamic queues, I'm having trouble spelling queues. Anytime there's a message to this queue in JMS, mm -hmm. send me a message to that topic. Right. I'm going to click OK. And, and now we're pretty much ready to go here. We are very close. Okay. Actually, I want to do a subscription. We're not going to publish to FME Server. We're going to publish from FME Server. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> well, one nice thing about these um, publications and subscriptions is you can you'll notice there was a duplicate there, and so you could create like a template and then duplicate and then just change what you wanted. Oh, okay, I didn't know that actually. Yeah. Yeah. So now you're seeing uh, we just set up the publisher, but now yeah. we're actually going to set up the subscriber, and that's what I want to show. Right. Again, we're typing in the, the six URL. Six one six. Yeah. Connection factory. factory. Did I spell everything right? Yeah. Dynamic queues. Deep dive. So this is like identifying their topic. Yeah. And I just want to make sure I wrote that right. Okay. Okay. Deep dive and. That should be enough for us to push some information to JMS. So I'm going to bring up that machine. No, it's 8161. 8161. Okay. We should see here's Active MQ. Okay. So here's our JMS running. We yep. can come in here and we can come into topics and 
There's no, there's no topic there for what we're doing right now, but let's go and send a message from FME server to JMS. And the way okay. we do that is we come into our REST API. Okay. That's one way of doing it. You could email it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any way. Any way you want. But this is a quick way to to test really right. whether things are working. Okay. So we're just logging into to our REST API. Now we're gonna send a message on that topic, JMS topic. Okay. And we're just gonna say hello world. Right. Publish. Okay. Now over here, we refresh, we should see either in a queue or a topic. I sometimes get this mixed up. There it is, deep dive. Yeah. I believe that's what we were looking at. Let's see. Let's come in and see. That looks good. 839. 839. Yep. yep. There you go. There's our message. Hello world. Wow. So it's a uh, it's a way of brokering messages between all these uh, yeah these, these yeah. enterprise systems yeah 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 and we can go back the other way but for the sake of time I sure. think we'll jump into okay uh, keep going so that is JMS using the notification stuff using notification service right yeah. and here's just a, a just a, a, a diagram showing sure. that you can hook different pieces together yeah, um, yeah. different applications yeah and all we did there was was send to JMS, but you can put a workspace in between. Absolutely. Just like you were saying, to spatially yeah. enable your enterprise mm -hmm. applications. Mm -hmm.